What's up guys, Jonathan here with TLD, just giving you guys a quick little rundown of my new setup. As most of you guys know, if you head over to the Apple online store, if you select an SSD on the new iMac, whether it's by itself or in conjunction with another drive, there is currently a four to six week wait as of May 31st, 2011. So what I did this past week is actually take it down to an Apple authorized service center and have an OCZ Vertex 3 SATA 3 SSD installed. The reason I picked the Vertex 3 is because the new iMacs take advantage of the SATA 3 six gigabits per second. The labor was about 150 bucks. I just took the SSD along with the iMac and they were able to do it no problem. So if you're interested, I would recommend not taking it to your Apple store, but look for a local Apple authorized service center, call them up and see if they offer that service. So as we head over to more info over to Serial ATA, there's two drives in here. I did not have the one terabyte removed, so that's in conjunction with the SSD now. If you guys look right here on the Western Digital Drive, the uh, link speed is six gigabits per second while the negotiated link speed is three. That is because that is a SATA 2 3 gigabit per second drive. Now if we jump over to the OCZ, you guys can see it takes full advantage of the SATA 3 6 gigabits per second. Uh, let me guys give you a little example of what kind of speeds those can get through. So we're going to head over to a little speed disk uh, test. First I'm going to start off with the uh, Western Digital Drive so you guys can kind of use it as comparison. Uh, let's go ahead and bump this up a little bit. Go ahead and start the test and it should be right about the 100 uh, megabytes per second. Uh, this looks like it's clocking in or reading in at a, however you want to word it. 120.8 megabytes per second write and 121.9 megabytes per second read. Uh, so let's go ahead and head over to the OCZ, which is now the boot drive. And let's go ahead and test that out. So you guys can see it's insanely fast and completely, completely uh, destroys the Western Digital. So uh, here's a little quick example of the setup. Right now the OCZ is the boot drive, so all the applications are stored on there. Uh, and the Western Digital is now kind of the media and scratch drive. So uh, there's going to be a little more in-depth video on this coming very soon. I just want to kind of give you guys a kind of benchmark quick test of it. I'll do the full review uh, coming down the road. I'm also planning on upgrading the memory to 16 gigabytes. Uh, if you guys want to see how this fares as far as booting up, go ahead and check out that video right here. And I also did a review on the Mobi Magic Charger for the Apple Magic Mouse. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions regarding this, shoot me a line down below or email me. The link is in the description, and I will catch you guys later.